Okay, I've been working on the Craftsman, uh, uh, installing the plow, and uh, kind of I was kind of lucky to find some of the instruction manuals for for assembly, so I could kind of make heads or tails um, with this because uh, the, the previous owner of the plow kind of rigged it up to their liking as parts broke instead of replacing them. Uh, wherever they were just sort of um, rigged something up like they did with this this piece right here. And I'll get into that later what that is for. But um, anyway, uh, there isn't much as far as uh, Uh, installation is most of the videos that I've seen are shown afterwards after they're installed or um, they just kind of forget about uh, well, it's showing how it's installed uh, so uh, this this is going to kind of take you from step one but uh, this here is it's an assembled channel frame here there's uh, an angle with uh, three holes in it and they bolt right up to the Craftsman uh, frame um, using the first hole here and the back slotted area here the center um, center uh, bolt isn't used just this bolt here and that bolt there and uh, it's threaded so I didn't need to mess around with around with any uh, nuts in the background or anything like that. Um, then there's a couple bars that's uh, a couple of bars that are attached to the front, but they're already assembled. So you can see that there is a is an angle actually that bolts to the bottom of that uh, angle and. It's a typical on that side, and then there is a plate that bolts to this this piece right here, so it makes a real sturdy, a real sturdy uh, frame. So that's uh, that's about it on that. Uh, the rest of it, I am missing some parts. One thing here is um, this is uh, the lift handle here you can see it there and there should be a rod that goes from here to here on the plow and that's missing so I either have to um, fabricate one or see if I can buy that part it's probably known and it's a probably want 20 bucks for it um, this guy had it before use the chain probably just to lift it uh, this here connects this tubing to this bar which is actually lifts the plow up and I think that's probably broken broke off the head on that so I'm gonna have to try to get that out of there figure another way to attach it um, there is a should be a cable with a lock handle at the top of that uh, of this tube right here which is missing and that would connect to this here which would um which would lift it and and as this turns the blade you can see the notches three notches there it'll notch the it'll the notches one of the notches could slide into this double bar here and lock it in place um, the other thing is that that other handle up there would actually could actually lock the the plow in an upper position in other words I'd have to hold it so I have to come up with something for that instead of trying to hold this plow up which can get heavy with the snow on it um, that's what this piece of wood is for I'm gonna get rid of that and uh, I probably what I'm going to do is um, use some other type of rod up here with a handle on it so I can uh, pivot it and lock 
the angle of the blade. So that's about it uh, for this craftsman. I have a little bit of time. I don't think it's going to snow overnight. So I'm either going to try to order some parts or fabricate some of my own. Uh, my biggest problem to, I think will be is trying to lock that blade in an upright position with some way to hold it, which I think Craftsman probably was a bad design to begin with. It's probably kind of a flimsy to try to hold a blade up like this, especially with some snow on it. That's it uh, for now, but I'll probably do one more video on this. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing.